Gender balanced leadership is important, I think for the same reason balanced leadership is important. We are 50% of the population, so we should be able to have a say in um, the decisions that are being made and the conversations that are being had. Our potential leaders can come from anywhere, you know, gender or race. If you want to have robust and vibrant decision-making process, you need to have a diversity of viewpoints in the room. It provides a level playing field for different opinions, and they can be very different. It allows the organization to have a much broader perspective of the community and the people that the organization serves. It allows for diversity of viewpoints, and it allows for increased collaboration. Gender-balanced leadership brings a tone, a diversity, a breadth of opinion that's important to making inclusive and effective decisions. We have 50% of our management group are women and nearly 46% of our workforce are women. We're very proud of that. I'm proud to work at a company, Time Warner Cable, and frankly in an industry that invests heavily in gender-specific leadership programming. We work really hard to find people with different perspectives. I think different uh, approaches and different opinions make for stronger solutions. Reinhardt has long been an advocate of gender balance within the firm. Uh, years ago, the firm established a women's forum, and it was essentially a meeting place uh, for female attorneys to come together, exchange ideas, and forge mentor-mentee relationships. I've been working for Associated for 18 years, and I've seen the commitment to gender balance leadership expand and, and grow. Michael Best is very committed to looking for opportunities for women to lead, both internally and externally to the firm, and that is reflected in that we have women in leadership positions on the management committee, leading practice groups, and leading offices. Of the four operating unit leaders that we have in our organization, two are women. Again, we not only uh, say that gender balance matters, we invest in it. I think Girl Scouts' mission of building courage and confidence in girls, it's an essential first step in paving the way for more women leaders. They're developing young women uh, to think creatively, uh, to seek challenge, uh, to seek accomplishment. Girl Scouts teaches girls that it's not only okay to be a leader, that it's essential for the future of our world. What comes to my mind right away, and when I hear the word leader shift, is the idea that leadership <laughs> is, is changing. I love the word leadership. When I was first introduced to it, I kind of did a second, what does that mean? What did you just say? Uh, but it makes so much sense, and I can't believe we haven't been using it before, or I hadn't heard it before. I have that picture in my head from what the invite was, which it's all white males, elders, sitting around a table with a young female at the head of the table, shifting the leadership and shifting it to more gender-balanced diversity. That's a vision that a lot of us have in this country, and I think it's the direction that we're heading, but there are key elements that need to be in place for that to happen. Leadership is about bringing the rest of the world up to speed on what we already know girls can do. I sold Girl Scout cookies as a kid and I earned several badges and I remember very much that it, it taught me a lot about setting goals and working toward those goals and in some instances not always meeting the goals and not always getting the badges so I, I had that experience as a child. I have a seven-year-old granddaughter who is a daisy and she's loving it. She loves everything about it. She loves the adventure. She loves the experiences. When I was a brownie it was the first time that I ever got in a room full of girls that wasn't either my family or my classroom. And I think it was the first time I was ever told that girls are important and girls can do anything.